In the beginning, there was a bird. Like for any other bird, first comes the fall, then the glory. But glory never came. To be honest, I was playing. Damn, I'm not even glorious enough for that game. Speaking of, the rules of the game are quite simple. There is an agent and an environment. The agent's job is to think. This silly AI uses a technique called deep cue learning. I'll get into more detail later in the video. Basically, some really smart twats working at Google use it as an excuse to play Atari at work. The environment on the right side is the game itself. It feeds the agent with all the important game information for every time step. Basically, the time step is every frame in the game. For every state or observation, the AI performs an action. Or you could say, a flap. And for every flap, the AI gets a reward. It all comes down to conditioning your AI. When our silly AI did good, the reward is positive. It's like beating your best friend with cookies. More or less, I don't fucking know. But if the AI behaved inappropriately, well, usually it only gets to see numbers, but we can visualize everything the AI needs in order to beat the game. We have relative distance to the next pipe, relative distance to the floor, velocity, this is the red wiggly line in the middle, as well as the upper pipe position and the lower pipe position. In the background, you'll see its first real learning steps. Far from what you could call hard, but we'll get there. At least the pipes are so thin that there's no time to chill. Anyways, the hardest level would be one that is at the physical capabilities of whatever a player could accomplish in the game. So no matter how optimal you play, it can't get any better. For that, we'll just decrease the distance between the pipes until any IA I train cannot beat the level. But beating Flappy Bird is basically impossible, so we decided a score of 1000 should be sufficient. After all, there are like 5 different pipe positions and nothing during a play is changing anyway. Like, of course we could take the gravity, calculate the velocity, go to the lowest possible point and use the possibility of not flying into a pipe choosing the tallest one. Fuck no. Before we can move to the hardest level, we need to change a few things. First and foremost, we gotta see the next pipe way sooner. So when the bird enters pipe A, it already needs to see pipe B in order to prepare to jump. Notice how in the old frame, the pipe indicator stays within the pipe for as long as the bird does. In the next frame, the indicator jumps right to the next pipe, the moment the bird enters the pipe. I did not give it both pipes at once, because that would make the input space larger, thus more complex. Now it only needs to figure out one pipe length. So that should do it. Now fuel up on anxiety, because the bird will attempt to do the impossible. Well, yeah, that was okay, I guess, but this isn't really the hardest level I could think of. Of course not.
really thought it would not make it. All hail Skynet. I have some other things I wanted to share, considering you want to build something like that on your own. By the way, source code is in the description box. First, get a graph. Tensorboard should be sufficient. It is really easy to use and makes evaluating your AI's progress a lot easier. Second, when using a DeepQ network, try to minimize randomness in the game. Pipes were spawning randomly distributed across the y-axis at the beginning and the AI didn't learn shit. Third, tweak your hyperparameters. The most important ones are A. Learning rate B. Batch size and C. Architecture of your neural network. I wound up with 0.01 for the learning rate, 20 for the batch size and one hidden layer with 512 neurons. It all comes down to trying different values and noticing the little marginal differences. Fourth, don't fucking panic. For some reason the AI at first got better, only to go complete fucking dipshit to then finally reach glory. It all takes time and just because your AI is behaving worse doesn't mean learning is done yet. That's why you should use graphs. So that should be it. And I've already noticed that my dumbest bird is clipping through the pipe but I think that's okay. After all, I'm not a game designer.